Hi! Welcome to KMath TV. In this video, I'll show to you how to reduce fractions to lowest terms. Okay, let's reduce these fractions to lowest terms. To reduce proper fractions to lowest terms, or to simplify proper fractions, we need to divide the numerator and the denominator by their GCF, or greatest common factor. Okay, let's answer the first example. Let's reduce 9 twelfths to lowest term. We need to divide the numerator 9 and the denominator 12 by their GCF. So, we need to get the GCF of 9 and 12. There are three methods in finding the GCF. You can use listing method, prime factorization, or the continuous division. Okay, let's find the GCF of 9 and 12 using prime factorization. Okay, what numbers can we multiply to get the product 9? We can multiply 3 and 3. 3 times 3 equals 9. 3 is a prime number. So, these are the prime factors of 9. Now, let's find the prime factors of 12. What numbers can we multiply to get the product 12? Okay, if we multiply 2 and 6, the product is 12. 2 times 6 equals 12. 2 is a prime number. 6 is a composite number. So we need to get the prime factors of 6. Think of two numbers that if you multiply, the product is 6. If we multiply 2 and 3, the product is 6. 2 times 3 equals 6. 6 times 2 equals 12. These are the prime factors of 12. Now, let's write the prime factors of 9 and 12 here. 9 equals 3 times 3. 12 equals 2 times 2 times 3. Next, let's find the common prime factor of 9 and 12. A number that is a factor of 9 and a factor also of 12 is 3. There is only one pair of common prime factor and it is counted as 1. Therefore, the greatest common factor or GCF of 9 and 12 is 3. Now, let's use the GCF to reduce the fraction to lowest term. Let's divide the numerator and the denominator by 3. 9 divided by 3 equals 3. 12 Divided by 3 equals 4. Okay, the lowest term of 9 twelfths is 3 fourths. Next, let's reduce 10 twentieths to lowest term. Okay, we need to divide the numerator and denominator by their GCF. So the first step is to get the GCF of 10 and 20. Let's use the continuous division to find the GCF of 10 and 20. Okay, think of a prime number that can divide both 10 and 20. These are divisible by 2. So let's divide this by 2. 10 divided by 2 equals 5. 20 divided by 2 equals 10. Next, think of a prime number that can divide both 5 and 10. Okay, 5 and 10 can be divided by 5. So let's divide this by 5. 5 divided by 5 equals 1. 10 
divided by 5 equals 2. Okay. 1 and 2 do not have other factor aside from 1. That means we will stop dividing now. And to find the GCF or greatest common factor, we need to multiply the prime divisors. 2 times 5 equals 10. So the GCF or greatest common factor of 10 and 20 is 10. Now let's use this GCF to reduce the fraction to lowest term. We will just divide the numerator and the denominator by the GCF 10. Okay, 10 divided by 10 equals 1. 20 divided by 10 equals 2. Okay, the lowest term of 10 20 is 1 half. Next, let's reduce 8 tenths to lowest term. We will just divide the numerator and the denominator by their GCF. So let's get first their GCF. 8 and 10. Okay, think of a prime number that can divide both 8 and 10. Okay, this can be divided by a prime number 2. 8 divided by 2 equals 4. 10 divided by 2 equals 5. Okay, the quotients 4 and 5 are consecutive numbers. That means they don't have other factor aside from 1. So we will stop dividing now. And the GCF is the prime number we used as divisor. And because we only use one divisor, automatic this is the GCF. So the GCF of 8 and 10 is 2. Okay, let's use this GCF to reduce the fraction to lowest term. Let's divide the numerator and the denominator by 2. 8 divided by 2 equals 4. 10 divided by 2 equals 5. Okay, the lowest term of 8 tenths is 4 fifths. Last example, let's reduce 12 8 tenths to lowest term. Okay, first, let's get the GCF of 12 and 18 using prime factorization. Okay, think of two numbers that if you multiply, the product is 12. Okay, so we can multiply 2 and 6. 2 times 6 equals 12. 2 is a prime number and 6 is a composite number. So we need to find the prime factors of 6. Okay, think of two numbers that if you multiply, the product is 6. Okay, 2 and 3. 2 times 3 equals 6. 6 times 2 equals 12. So the prime factors of 12 are 2, 2, and 3. Okay, now let's get also the prime factors of 18. What are the two numbers can we multiply to get the product 18? We can multiply 3 and 6. 3 times 6 equals 18. 3 is a prime number and 6 is a composite. So we need to get also the prime factors of 6. The prime factors of 6 are 2 and 3. Okay, 2 times 3 equals 6, 6 times 3 equals 18. So these are the prime factors of 18. Now let's write the prime factors of 12 and 18 here. So 12 equals 2 times 2 times 3. And 18 equals 2 times 3 times 3. 
Okay, now let's find the numbers that are both factors of 12 and 18. Let's pair them. The first pair is 2. And the other one is 3. These are the common prime factors of 12 and 18. And to get the GCF, we need to multiply them. 2 times 3 equals 6. The GCF of 12 and 18 is 6. Okay, now let's use this GCF to reduce the fraction to lowest term. Let's divide the numerator and the denominator by their GCF 6. 12 divided by 6 equals 2. 18 divided by 6 equals 3. Okay, the lowest term of 12 eighteenths is 2 thirds.